Changes to a country's population age structure can have important implications for economic growth. Thailand and Rwanda present two different examples of these changes. We are starting with Thailand's population pyramid in 1960. Each layer of this diagram is an age group, and the width of each layer represents the proportion of the population in that age group. It looks like a pyramid because when couples have many children, more people are added each year in the younger age groups at the base of the pyramid. In 1960, more than 40% of Thailand's population was under the age of 15, and women had an average of six children. With such a large proportion of young people to support with social services, it was difficult for the economy to grow. During the 1960s and the decades that followed, mortality rates declined, desire for smaller families increased, and investments in family planning enabled rapid declines in fertility. By the 1990s, women were having an average of two children each, and as a result, population growth slowed. By 2010, Thailand's population was larger, and the age structure was transformed, with a smaller population of young people to support with social services like health and education. Today, Thailand's population is dominated by working-age adults, who will be part of a productive labor force for many years. This change in the age structure helped accelerate economic growth. Let's turn now to Rwanda, a country that has made great progress over the last decade in improving health, lowering fertility, and increasing economic growth. Like much of Africa today, Rwanda's age structure is young, with 40% of the population under the age of 15, and an average of four to five children per woman. Even with Rwanda's progress, the age structure will stay young for several decades. In 2030, if fertility continues to decline to close to three children per woman, 35% of Rwanda's population will be under the age of 15, a higher percentage than in any country, including Thailand, that has realized a demographic dividend of accelerated economic growth. There are three key investments that countries can make to further change their age structure and increase the proportion of the population who is able to participate in the adult labor force. First, improve child survival. Improving child health services allows more children to survive and leads to couples desiring smaller families. Second, space births and prevent unintended pregnancies. Increased investments in family planning will prevent unintended pregnancies, leading to fewer births per woman. Third, educate girls. When girls stay in school, particularly through secondary level, they are more likely to delay early marriage and childbearing and have healthier families. Together, these investments lead to lower fertility and mortality and enable the population age structure to change, opening a window of opportunity for accelerated economic growth.